what stands up for the nation Nigeria? And it's important for me to say some things at this point in time. I want to assure you, contrary to negative expectations, peace will reign in Nigeria. We have authority as children of God. We have favor with the Father to declare what we want. And we have the Lord who is called the Prince of Peace. For all of you who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, all we have asked the Lord to do is to impose His peace on the nation of Nigeria. And I want to assure you that everyone that wants to foment trouble during the election or after the election is not going to be able because the Prince of Peace is taking over. Peace will reign in Nigeria in the name of Jesus that is above all names. And all those who don't want peace to reign in Nigeria, I assure you that the God of heaven will clean them out before they can do any of such things. Either they change their minds or God of heaven takes them out. Peace will reign in Nigeria and blessed are those who love the peace of Nigeria. But woe unto those who want to trouble for Nigeria. They shall not prosper. And fellow Nigerians, or for any persuasion of any faith, you will agree with me that it's better to live together in peace. And that's why a vote for Nigeria is a vote for peace. Any politician that is spitting blood and fire, any politician who is threatening that he will cause or he will if it turned to unjust, unconstitutional, and unlawful means to seek redress is not worth having our vote. In fact, we demand that our politicians make a commitment that they will not do anything violent, support anything violent, or sponsor any form of violence before we can give them our votes. I know that Mr. President has said his ambition his political ambition is not for the blood of any Nigeria. And that he detests violence, he has always made his stand known as a man of peace. If any person thinks that they are going to hoodwink Nigerians, compel Nigerians, threaten Nigerians, intimidate Nigerians by threatening violence, then it is not such Nigerian is not worth getting our vote. We will not vote for you. We will vote for peace. We will vote for unity. We will vote for love. We will vote for joy. We will not vote for anything that divides Nigeria. We will not vote for any philosophy that hurts other Nigerians. We will vote for peace, for unity. We will vote for personalities that carry all Nigerians along. And I want to tell you all, let's join us together to vote for peace, to vote for unity, never to vote for division, never to vote for oppression. Never to vote for intimidators. We will not vote for those who intimidate us. We will not be cowed into voting for them. We will vote for peace. We will vote for, the, for Nigeria. We will vote for unity. We will vote for continuity of this great nation. We will vote for the greatness of Nigeria. So get your voters card ready. That is your power to install peace. That is your power to ensure continuity. That is your power to ensure oneness. Let us vote for peace. And God bless you. And don't forget that all our materials, my messages, my writings, my inspirations, my exhortations will be made available for you online through all the social media channels. This year we have decided that we will make our materials and our blessings and our inspiration available for you online. Just make sure you follow us as much as possible. And I promise that we'll keep on praying for you. I also promise that we'll keep on lifting you up. And I also promise that we'll keep on serving you, bringing the word for you at the right time. But don't forget, the gospel of Jesus Christ is good news. It's about peace. It's about joy. It's about love. And anything contrary to love is contrary to the gospel. Anything contrary to peace is contrary to the gospel. Anything contrary to joy is contrary to the gospel. Anything contrary to good news is not the gospel. The good news we have for you is that it is well with Nigeria and it will continue to be well with Nigeria. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, and we thank you. This great country, Nigeria, you carved out for yourself, by yourself, for your own purpose. And Lord, once again, we present it back to you. Let it be well with Nigeria. We pray for our president. Let it be well with it. We pray for his cabinet. Let it be well with them. Lord, give them wisdom to pilot the affairs of this nation. We pray for the judiciary. Let it be well with them. We pray for the executive. Let it be well with them. 
We pray for the lawmakers. Let it be well with them. We pray for the security forces. Let it be well with them. For those who are risking their lives to defend us, to protect us, Lord, protect them. For those who have become widows and orphans because they are breadwinners who are caught there, oh God, have mercy on them. Provide for them. Help those of us who are alive to be a source of joy to them. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for this great country. Thank you for the peace of Nigeria. Glory be to God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.